Hello everyone. So in this video, I will uh, speak about morph constraints. And um, so to explain the purpose, let me uh, describe quickly the model. So we are dealing with an aerospace panel around the door and connected to this panel with Cbush and rbo 3 we have some stiffness. And you see that I have also a new target geometry. And what I want to do is to project my FE mesh, uh, my panel FE mesh onto my new geometry. But I want the stiffener to follow with keeping the same dimensions. So I don't want to alter the dimensions of any of my stiffeners. So for doing this, I need to go to morph and I will use morph constraints. So as a first step, I need to create a morph constraint um, and I will use the on element setting. So I will pick on elements, um, all nodes apart the panel component. So nodes by collector. Let me select all this collector and let me unselect this one. Select and I want them to be projected on the panel elements, elements by face and I want them to be with a distance and the distance has to be maintained. So now I can create. So depending on your number of nodes, this may take a little bit of time. Um, so here we stood. T, we are currently with 21.2. I will just show after 22.1 because we just changed and we don't need any more of the panel. We have a guide bar instead. So let's wait for uh, the morph constraints to be done and then we'll move to the morphing part. It should be pretty close. You, you have this uh, message bar on the left showing you the progression. Okay, so here it has been done. And uh, I will just hide the morph constraint in order to uh, not to follow the GUI. So now that I have done this, let me go to the free option. Let's say that I want to move a face, which is this face, and then I want as a target, I want this geometry. And then I can basically and let me zoom in so as to location and there will be some changes let me hit morph so on the left bottom left you see the process operation being mentioned uh, having constraints and prior we mapped the nodes to the geometry so again the larger number of morph constraints the longer the process time but here yeah, it's something which is still reasonable. And we should get the result within a couple of seconds now, uh, as we've reached more than 30,000 nodes being taken care of about. Okay, and now, uh, as you can see, it has been moved and then you can create a shape by, and you can undo the shape and now if you go to the shapes part you can preview again your shape so previewing um, requires to, to repeat the steps but at least um, you will get them it's mostly on the morph constraints that you use pen it's uh, most of the time for processing but you can then um, save your shape if needed and reapply it, or you can just apply the morphing and um, it's okay. So let me now move to 22.1, same model. I uh, just want to show the changes, and especially if you go to morph, constraints. Now everything in the, is in the guide bar here, so you just have to say that you want your entity is on, so you want nodes per component. So let me select all the components. 
except the panel one. So it is done, okay. And I want to bring this on elements. So here, sorry, I need to pick the three dots. To say that I want by face, and I can select this. Okay. And I want in this small gray, I want not to move along, but I want to maintain. And then I can apply the constraint to the mesh. And once it is done, I can then uh, apply the morphing as I did for 21.2. So this is the main change, uh, then you will be able to, to use the free. So here was for the changes, uh, look again at 21.2, you see that the shape has been applied back and so the, the dimension have been kept um, for the parts. So here it is done, uh, here's the way you can do it with uh, the morphing.